this country. And that's why you always hear me talk about truth. So if you hear truth you don't like, it's patriotic. <laughs> <laughs> so Ebola is being talked about in this country. So as an American, and especially African Americans and minorities, I think it's very important to know that. First of all, what is Ebola? It's a virus that's been known since 1976. Mm. It was named after a river in the Congo, because that's where the first outbreak of Ebola took place in 1976. Hmm. And since then, there have been several small outbreaks localized in Central and West Africa that was limited until recently. Ebola is a virus, like the cold virus, like the flu virus, but it's more toxic. It causes systemic symptoms initially similar to the cold or the flu. So many of us in this country are concerned because the flu and cold symptom uh, a season are coming. And I can just see folks coming in my office <laughs> concerned about them having Ebola. It's the flu. <laughs> so you will get the flu and you will get the cold, but more than likely it's not Ebola. The symptoms are similar fever, nausea, vomiting, but you get profound weakness. It lasts longer, and in severe cases, you can start bleeding through internal organs. Oh, Jesus. So far, there's been over 8,000 cases in the world, probably climbing close to 10,000, and about 4,000 of them have died, meaning a death rate of about 50%. A lot of that has to do with how soon is diagnosed and how quickly you're treated. So how is it transmitted? Only by direct contact with body fluids of a person who is infected with the virus. That means saliva, diarrhea, blood, sweat, even semen. You must come in contact with that fluid. Or objects that have been contaminated with that fluid, such as needles or protective devices that have been contaminated. Only symptomatic patients can really transmit the virus, at least that's what they think now. And that's because they think by the time they get sick, the virus is uh, uh, really a heavy load. Now you do not get Ebola from casual contact, from breathing in the air, like you do the flu or like you do a cold, and you can't get it in the water or the food. That's the good thing. That's why when you're on a plane, and even if somebody has the Ebola virus, you're not gonna pick it up in the air. Hmm. So what is the treatment? There is no definitive treatment. Oh, wow. But aggressive, supportive care, because most, they're dying of dehydration from loss of fluids, diarrhea. So you're getting plenty of fluid replacement, res respiratory support. Many times your immune system is now affected, and especially if you've got certain diseases, so opportunistic bacteria, so you get on antibiotics. Uh, there are some experimental antiviral medications. Transfusions from individuals who have already survived the virus can be helpful because they've built up antibodies. So that's the no treatment. So I'm supposed to be talking about health equity. 